asking what the Big Lebowski is about really is the same thing as asking what the rug and the so-called killer shot have in common. If there is any big theme in the Big Lebowski that ties the film together, it has to be traceable in every shot and every image. So what's the Big Lebowski about? Well, this actually already is explained by the title and how it's presented. If we look at the title carefully, we see that the title expands. The expansion indicates that The Big Lebowski already is an expansion of a much shorter version of the title that's literally inside The Big Lebowski. And this so-called short title is The Bow. Actually The Big Lebowski dwells in subtle bows, but this is discussed later on. What's important for now is that The Big Lebowski's core theme is the long short theme, or the expansion compression or the longevity and brevity theme. And to support this theory, we of course need to have enough examples. So therefore we start with listening to the dude's brevity thing. I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino if you're not into the whole brevity thing. What the dude explains here actually is the long, short theme. El Duderino is the long version of the dude. And the dude is a short version of El Duderino, just like the bow is the short version of the Big Lebowski. So the title expands, but also the title makes a very decorated appearance, as if the Big Lebowski is a decorated version of the bow. This also could be traced back directly to the long short theme. And when the title is lifted up, we see the title being shortened. And also this movement indicates that beneath the long title The Big Lebowski lies the bow. The bow is the bowling ball, which bows. The bow indicates the brevity thing, because it is compressed or curved. The lane indicates the longevity thing, because it is expanded or straight. So it seems that the Big Lebowski is a constant interplay between these two forces. The one expands and the other shortens. The bow, so to speak, gets around distance, which is represented by the straight lane. The bow always shortens things, it shortens pins. Therefore we see a bow as a reflection of light on a spinning bowling ball before the ball shortens the pins. The bow bends the straight lane to eventually wrap it up. So what have the rock and this killer shot have in common? Well they both shorten space. As the dude says, it really tied the room together. Which means that the rock shortens the room. Rock is a synonym for wrap, as in wrapping up space. And in this shot we see the same thing. There is a room which is marked by the two pins. The bowling ball shortens this room or space in between the two pins and the shortening of the space is indicated by the bow in the back. And what has the dude in his hands while well, he says My rug is bowling ball. Thanks for watching.